A very warm good morning to all my dear students. Today we are going to uh, read the poem and the title of the poem is Where do all the teachers go? So uh, this poem is basically a relation shows the relationship between the student and the teacher and about the curiosity of the child. Uh, the child has always the curiosity in their mind that whether the teachers are super uh, heroes or whether the teachers are really a common human being, ordinary people like uh, they are. And these are some of the, of the thoughts which were there in the mind of a child. And in this poem, the poet uh, Pick, uh, Peter Dixon, he uh, wrote about the curiosity which is there in the mind of the child in the form of verses. And here he wrote some of the lines related to the curiosity of the child. So let's begin. The story is about that the child speaks about the love and the curiosity which he is having for his teacher. And the teachers for them is a superhuman being and they cannot imagine that they are the normal, ordinary human being as I told. So we will not uh, go for the, for the summarization. Let's go with the with the poem now the poem begins with where do all the teachers go when it's four o'clock do they live in houses or do they wash their clothes their socks so here the child is having a curiosity in his mind and he was wandered with varieties of thoughts in his mind and the questions were that whether the what do the teacher do after four o'clock where do they go Till 4 o'clock they are at school. But after the school winds up, what do the teacher do? So when it is 4 o'clock, he wants to know that if they are like the other ordinary human being who lives in a house and they wash their own socks and means to do, they also do all the same routine work like other people are doing. So do they really wash their own their socks by their own? Do they have their own particular house? So this was the thought in the mind of a child do they wear pyjama or do they watch tv and do they pick their nose the same as you and me so here pyjama is a kind of a cloth which is uh, used for clothing pick, pick their nose is an activity to take out the waste things from the nose by inserting the finger into it uh, and cleaning it Mm -mm. Then here the child is having the curiosity that the child wants to know if teachers also wear pajamas and whether do the teacher really watch the television? Do they really clean their nose by putting their finger inside, inserting the finger inside and taking out all the dirty things from the nose? So this is the thought of the child and the child is thinking in that manner that whether they are really the ordinary people like ordinary people do that. So ordinary people wear the pyjama, they wear the, tel they, sorry, they watch the television, they clean their nose. No doubt, everybody do that. Then, do they live with their, uh, with the other people? Have they mom and da dads with them? And where they ever, uh, where they ever ch children? And where they ever bad? So here, in this particular uh, Stanja, the poet is expressing that do they live with them means according to the ch child they feel that the teachers are superhuman being so here he, the thought is that that whether they really have a house whether they really live with the people whether they also have their own parents like mommy and daddy as we have or uh, and they have the uh, have the and where they were children and that is a thought in the mind that whether the teachers are also uh, children once upon a time or not or whether they were also bad or they are very good in studies so further the child wonders by asking if that they are really surrounded by the people if they also have the parents children like us who we live with our parents did they commit any mistakes or did anyone anything wrong when uh, they were children. So this is a curiosity because we are human beings, no? And there is a saying that to err is a human, to forgive is a divine. So this is a thought of the child that whether the uh, teachers also have their childhood and during the childhood whether they have committed any mistakes, whether they have done anything wrong. So did they ever never spell right? 
Did they ever never spell right? Did they ever make mistakes? Where they punish in the corner? Where they pinch the chocolate flake? And here the poet is talking about that. Now he wanted to know that whether the teachers have or have never done any mistake in their life, whether they spell all the words correctly during her childhood, also whether they got the punishment or not, whether they also st- um, uh, um, pull out the chocolates and they eat the chocolates during the class hour, whether they also. um do the naughtiest things as now the the children are doing so this again the thought of a poet that the poet is thinking that whether the teachers are also like the ordinary human being whether they also commit mistake in their life whether they are also they also got the punishment where the teachers uh, nowadays says that go and stand out outside the classroom so uh, when we were studying at that time this type of punishment was there no but today the corporal punishment is not allowed so you people are very lucky but in our time when we were the student we were really got punishment from our teachers not only punishment we were been severely beaten also our teachers used to come with a stick no and when we do any anything wrong and if we, if they ask us the question and if we are unable to give the answer then also we get the beatings so here the thought of the child that whether the teachers got the uh, pun- punishment whether they also do something very naughty during their childhood so did they ever lose their hymn books did they ever leave their greens did they scribble on the desktop did they wear old dirty jeans and then talking about the hymn book as we are having the uh, the hymn book in our in our library also so hymn book means a religious book where the verses from the bible is written and we go on reading it scribbling means to draw or to write something on the desks we you can see no now to we are at home but there was a time when uh, when last year when we were in the school you must have seen children are uh, writing something or they are carving something on the desks so this is what the scribbling is all about so talking about the tender mind of the child that the tender mind is also bothered to know if the children have ever lost their book no like when you lose your pen or pencil your mother make a question why how careless you are why you cannot able to keep your things properly but the question comes in the mind of the child that whether the ch- that teacher when they were also the children at that very time th- whether the children have lost their books pen pencil copy or so on and said that and said no or to green vegetables so here the word is uh, something that did they ever leave their greens like you must have seen most of the children nowadays you love the chinese food you love pasta pizza chowmin and all those things if your mother is serving the green vegetables in front of you you make faces at that time no you screwed up your face and you don't want to eat that so here the question comes in the mind of the of the child and what the child is thinking whether the child, the teacher has lost their book somewhere when they were the children whether they have left the food in uh, on in their plate because they don't like the green vegetables whether they also waste time by scribbling on the benches or the desks or the table and whether they love to wear the torn and the old jeans today if we come to the today's scenario you will find that it is a fashion no wearing torn jeans and all and then you come out of the house and it is just a fashion but in our time if a small cut is there we avoid wearing it not only we our parents also not allow us to wear that type of dress they says that no it you are it is now torn you just uh, throw it away uh, we will not, uh, you are not supposed to wear it so here the child is making the question whether my teachers have done this all these things whether they lost their book whether they have left the vegetables on their plate whether they have also scribbled something on the desks or whether they want the old torn jeans uh, when they were the children so then he said i follow one day home today i will find out what they do then i will put it in a poem and then that they can read read to you and now the poet is saying that to know about to satisfy my curiosity i will do one thing and what he is saying that i will be going to overcome with this curiosity when i will 
follow the teacher i will do the spy on the teacher and i will follow the teacher from the school to the home and once i will be able to do i will be coming to know exactly what the teachers are doing so once he is clear about everything then the poet said that the child is saying that he would also like to compose or write a poem about it and think about the teacher would read the that poem to his children so this is what the thought of the poet the poet is saying that i will compose a poem and then i will ask the teacher to read and uh, read and finally the teacher will come to know about the uh, the wandering mind of the child where the child is thinking or having a curiosity to know more and more about the teacher now i will be going to tell you something related to the um, author now when we read about the author we come to know that the author is peter john dickson okay and he was born um, on 30 of april 1944 and is the former england international rugby union player so one of one of the player a game you might be knowing about rugby so he is one of the international player of it he was born on 30 of april 1944 and he died at the age of 46 then he got his masters uh, from oxford university and the name of the university was the durham university where he got the post graduation so he uh, was um, having holding the position um, in his career of rugby union he got the position of uh, arm major and uh, then uh, we will come to know that he is a former england international rugby player and uh, he toured new england new zealand in 1971 with the victorious british and irish lion and then the uh, uh, and then when we talk about him we come to know that he is a poet a, for, a performer uh, an educationalist and a uh, artist as well he grew up in london during the bliss and readily admit to being a, a rather naughty boy whose schooling was far from success having failed at spellings and understanding of words form and grammar he tended to write secretly at home drawing and writing of things largely ignored by the school so this is uh, something about his childhood then his style is very strong bold and imaginative with the vivid use of colors and brush strokes he also produced unique sculptures made from unwanted tickles and odds and ends so this is something about his um, jona what, what he wanted to do then we come across that uh, um, he became a school teacher and eventually then he became a senior lecturer in the education and uh, uh, he has been a full time children writer and educationalist consultant his first book which was published in the year 1978 he has written the painted fairly steadily ever since and uh, um, and uh, he has contributed to over 100 poetries and had seven collections of his own work published by the macmillan and the books which are included here are grow your own poems lost properties and peter dickson's grand prix of poetry so this is all about the bio sketch of the poet peter dickson along with that i have explained you the poem with the word meaning and along with the explanation so now what you will be doing i will be sharing this pdf in your google classroom after this video once you have heard this video properly after that please write down all these things which i i am showing you sorry in the form of pdf please write down everything in your copy and now from the next class onwards i will be conducting your reading exams okay we have um, in our english one class so from monday okay 
सो टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ ऑल द बेस्ट बाय